Cliff, I feel like one of the most like unfair um, things that people bring up about you is that you had Patrick Mahomes at Texas Tech, and yeah. then you know he obviously goes and does whatever with the Chiefs. But was do you think he was the same guy then as he is now, or has he actually matured a bunch? Because I feel like anytime you guys are struggling, it's there's some bullshit. It's like, well, you know, this guy couldn't win with yeah. Patrick Mahomes, so how is he going to win now? Yeah, that that's a great um, question, Patrick. Just watching him year in, year out from when we got him in Texas Tech to where he is now, the leadership, the work ethic, the preparation is unbelievable how it's developed. And, and that's the biggest thing I see. You watch those guys on his team and they die for him. You know, the way they pick him up, if he's ever on the ground, the way they play for him. Um, but, you know, when he was our quarterback, we did average about 45 points a game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were still doing our thing. Don't get it twisted. Uh, um, but, yeah, he, he's fantastic, man. I, I'm, you know. Every time I get a chance to watch them, it's, it's just you never know what you're going to see. Did you know he was that when you was when we were recruiting him as a high school kid? Like, did you have an idea? Because I got to think that all the big schools, Texas, USC, all of them were probably after him, right? Yeah, they, they weren't. Um, he was a big baseball player, and I think everybody thought he was going to go that direction. Dad, yeah, because right? his dad, and that's what everybody say. Like, he's going to play baseball. And he was real raw. He'd just get the ball and go out there and dominate. But it didn't look like maybe you'd want to look. It wasn't the tight three-step drops. You know, he'd drop it down and throw it here. But I went to a game when I knew I was like, this is something special. I went to the a game and he had, I think, like six touchdowns in the first half. And I'm like, okay, we got to get this <laughs> guy. And then, um, you know, after his junior year, this, this is – great on me after his junior year they they send the grades and it comes back to like second or third round i'm like this is crazy this is the best dynamic player i've ever seen right so i fly down with our little entourage and have all these like spreadsheets and things to show him why he should come back to texas tech right <laughs> and so like he entertained it he entertained it but i could tell the whole time he's like come on coach and then he, <laughs> coach, and coach, then he goes money. then he goes number 10 in the draft and it's like the greatest player in the nfl <laughs> but i'm the one talking him into coming back so i look like the bad guy like patrick i swear to god they told me second or third round you know and by the way you've been an nfl quarterback before you understand it you actually talked there about something about patrick mahomes whenever he was down his teammates pick him up like that culture is such a big deal. 